guys, welcome back. Today, we have a very exciting video. When I first saw this, I was super confused because I was like, wait a second, why is it not like the normal FabFitFun box? And then I remembered why. So basically, I forgot that I had decided to add this scarf. Also, I am going to be doing this whole haul thing a little bit differently. I want to do it like in real life kind of because obviously unboxing it is fun and I wanted to include like my first reactions of everything, but then I'm also going to include me actually using the products throughout the next week and showing y'all how, what I actually think of it versus just like my first impression. And let me know if you like the style of the FabFitFun unboxing so that I can continue to do that in the future. Let's take her out. Don't need that. Oh, she's upside down. Here's the pretty box I was looking for. Oh gosh, darn it. I love how they make them so pretty. And this is the plush, stay warm and stylish ultra soft plaid scarf. I gotta be honest, y'all. I wish it was cold enough right now to wear the scarf. <laughs> it's currently like 70 something degrees, although it is a tad humid. I am still trying to get in the fall mood though. But wow, I am so excited about the scarf now. I feel like this is gonna be my go-to come fall and winter. It just seems super nice. Like it feels like a good quality scarf. Next, let's open up the box. This is what we need you for. Was gonna do it towards me, that would be bad. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I'm so excited. You see, this is what she looks like. I never want to leave the salt and the pepper out, so I chose this option so I can leave the salt and pepper out on the counter, but it'll look cute, so I won't be annoyed at it like looking bad. This is an Epair salt and pepper shaker. So, so far, this is definitely a thumbs up. I really do like this. I think it looks cute, it looks sleek, and, and a lot nicer. I don't know, and like I can just see when I have people over for dinner, making it so much easier to stick this on the table. And it just, I don't know, it looks more put together, I feel like. What's next? This is the Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. I gotta be honest, y'all, I, I definitely get eyes, bags under my eyes. I also can't talk. I'm excited to try this. It's a eye mask. Okay guys, so we're about to try this. So it comes in little like individual packages. Oh my gosh, they're like actually gold. I didn't even think about how they would actually be gold. I like can't smile because my cheeks will go up and then they will ruin this. So it says to leave these on for like 10 to 15 minutes. So we will regroup in 10 minutes and see what it feels like when they're taken off. Okay, it's been 10 minutes, so we're gonna take them off. And it says once you're done to gently pat a serum in there, I'm just using this moisturizing vitamin E oil that I use pretty much every night on my skin. So we'll just put that on after. That feels really cool when you take it off. It like feels so refreshing. Okay, I take that back. It's not like another serum that you put on. It just says to pat the remaining serum under your eyes. So you just kind of like pat whatever's left. Oh God, these look like something I want to eat, but I don't think that's what they are. Exfoliating sugar cubes. <gasps> And I feel like you can definitely get way more than one use out of them. So when I first saw this, I thought one cube was for one shower, but this is actually holding up really well. I mean, I pretty much scrub my whole body with this and it's still like a full cube. I'm sorry, it's getting so steamy. <laughs> I'm gonna go finish my shower and I'll talk to y'all after. This I've been so darn excited about and I did watch a few FabFitFun unboxings and some people said that they weren't, this isn't like the best quality in the world. So I'm interested to see what I'll think about it. Lately, what I've been doing is I just take my lunch, like little containers and I throw them in my purse and cause I have a bigger purse. So I just throw them in there, but I'm really excited to have an actual lunch box. Okay, so, so far it looks pretty darn adorable. Kate Spade, it says out to lunch. I definitely can see what people mean. Like it's not the highest quality. I'm guessing, you know, the name. Kate Spade really adds to the worth of this bag. It's actually kind of small. <laughs> it's not as big as I thought, but we'll see. Hopefully I can still fit all my lunch in here for work. Okay, so now we are going to try and fit my lunch in this lunchbox. 
Like I said, it does seem a little bit smaller than I originally thought it was going to be. Y'all are also getting like a little what I eat in a day work edition. <laughs> so as for my lunch, I just have, this is my main lunch. It's rice with olive oil, salt, Italian seasoning, and then I put in two black bean veggie burgers and it's so good. I just heat it up and then mix it all up to make like a little rice and veggie burger bowl. And then this is just like a kale and spinach salad. So let me tilt you down so you can see me actually putting this stuff in. So they're pretty stuck. I mean, it's, it's fitting. And then I have just a little oatmeal packet and a protein bar. So I'll stick those two things on there. Oh, wow. Oh, that was easy. Okay, I think I spoke too soon about saying that it wasn't going to fit. This thing looks small, but it actually fits a lot. Wow, I did not expect, like when I first tried to stick that in there, I didn't think it was gonna work, but everything really did like, like I don't know, it expanded, it's stretchy. <laughs> I'm excited, it's gonna be walking, me walking to work today. Back. The Better Skin Lava Magic with a M-A-G-I-K. Cleanser, scrub, and mask. Made like my cheekbones red, but that does smell really good and my skin feels very refreshed. So, so far I like it. Update y'all, I got ready. I'm about to leave for work and I don't see the red marks as much anymore. See, honestly, I don't see them at all. I put a little blush on, so if it looks a little red, that might be why, but I really don't see it anymore. So maybe it was just, you know, immediately after you put on the lotion, it gives you a little bit of redness, but nothing too bad. Let me know in the comments if y'all are liking this back and forth cut type of situation where I tell you my opinion on it once I'm actually trying it out. What's this? Damage remedy, daily hair repair. Oh, I need this. If y'all couldn't tell, I recently got my hair even more blonde and I love the blonde so darn much, but it's definitely getting a tad dry. So I need to be a little careful about it. And I'm excited to try this. This is just a daily hair repair. Well, it says that it's instant visible repair. So we'll see if that's true. So I just got out of the shower and we're gonna test this Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. It says to just shake it well and then put a little bit in your hands and we're just gonna run it through and you're supposed to like run it through your hair, but you're not supposed to rinse it. And it does say on here that you get automatic results or how does it word it? It says instant visible repair. So, I mean, I don't know, I don't really see instant visible repair, but I'm assuming maybe it means once your hair dries, it seems a little bit shinier or something. My hair does feel soft right now though, I'll be honest. And it says to brush it out a little bit too. So far, I like it, it smells really good. Final product before the thing I'm most excited about. This is a body souffle, fancy. It's a vegan and cruelty free. Oh, it's just a body lotion. Actually, Kat, it's a body souffle, not a lotion. I really do like that body souffle. It makes like my skin feels really, really soft. So I'm guessing it's a combination of the sugar cube and the body souffle, but I do really like it. Okay guys, so this is what I just couldn't choose between this and the scarf, which like if I really had to pick, I would have picked this. I just know I'll get so much use out of that scarf too, but it's a hair straightener. Let me show you the one that I currently have. Oh God, I'm getting twizzlies everywhere. Oh my God. I was sitting on my leg weird and I just feel like it just collapsed. We need to stretch my legs out is what really needs to happen. I'm sorry if I'm really low in this shot, but I can't sit on my knees. So this is the straightener that I've had for so darn long. You can see the label is all scratched off. I think I got this from TJ Maxx, to be honest. I literally, even this label is all scratched off. I have to like look on the inside because everything else is still worn out. It's the G-E-M flat iron. Now, I can already see y'all in the comments saying, Kat, you just complained about your hair being dry while you straighten it. And you're, yes, that's a reasonable claim or question to have. I don't do it too often, I promise, but there's just something about straightening my hair, especially in the fall time when there's like crisp air out so it's not humid and it doesn't get all like a ball. That just makes me so happy. Oh, I got a text message. Especially because in the summertime, I do cut back on putting any kind of heat on my hair dramatically just because it's so darn humid every day that it, it's pointless. I normally just put it in a bun, to be honest. So come fall time, I am so excited to do some curls and some straightening, but I won't do it too often, I promise. But 
I do think it's better for my hair to like, you know, not use the same straightener that I've been using for so long where these things are probably worn out. So I'm so excited to try this one. And I've heard really great things about this. Hey guys, it's finally time to try the hair straightener. I'm very excited. So as you can see, my hair is pretty straight naturally. I mean, it's not pin straight or anything, which is what the hair straightener is for, but like it's not, like this is it, just totally natural. I took a shower last night, let it air dry overnight, and this is what it looks like. And now I'm going to spray this Orlando Pita Play hair protectant spray and this I actually got from a FabFitFun box a few seasons ago. I don't remember which one but I still use it. This is what I mean when I say like the majority of these products I still really do use and I really like them. So I do really like it. I think it worked really well. My hair feels very nice and obviously straight. Um, I'll be honest, I don't notice like a crazy, crazy big difference between this one and my previous hair straightener. But then at the same time, it's like, cat, you gotta work on your hair, not the straightener if you want your hair to be softer. <laughs> but it does feel soft and I, I do really like it. I'm excited to switch it up. If you watch until this part, let me know in the comments what you thought about this style of fab of unboxing, where I go from like unboxing it and my initial reaction and then cut to me actually trying it out. Again, if you wanna purchase the box for yourself, then you can click the link in my description box and I do have a coupon code if you if this is your first box. And if you want more fab fit fun unboxings in real life like this style videos, then make sure to subscribe so that you're notified when I do the next one. I don't know why I was filming that. My camera just shut off. But anyways, I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.